Okay, here's my follow-up video to my recap of Survivor Kageyan, where I discussed the reunion and a couple of other stuff that seems to be discussed out there. Okay, so that a reunion, I'm glad that everyone was on the stage and that Jeff did try and bring stuff up for most of the people there. He didn't talk to everybody, because like, it didn't seem like he discussed Garrett, Bryce, Jatia that much, but it seems like he mentioned one or two of them in there, and so did the people on the jury, both at the reunion and in their interviews. And uh, it was very interesting to see, uh, one, how that jury would have changed if uh, it had been Kaz and Wu, because yeah, if Wu would have won 9 nothing, even though Kaz would have played the better game in that situation. And I mean, like, I forgot to talk about Wu in the last video. I mean, like, I like Wu as a person, but as a strategy player, I'm not a fan of him, because him winning would have been basically as bad as Fabio winning because well I've already discussed this you know and this would have dropped the season and the rankings big time I'll mention what the season ranks at the end of this video uh huh anything else to discuss about that reunion oh yeah and then like how the uh interactions between people in the audience that was going on with the reunion and the finale I have to admit, they handled it fairly well, actually. I mean, like, you shouldn't have put up the kids that are obviously camera shy, but it does reinforce the fact that Survivor has been on for freaking forever and somehow managed to maintain quite a lot of big ratings things. I can't really speak about Big Brother and The Amazing Race because I haven't seen that much of a, The Amazing Race and Big Brother and The Amazing Race don't really seem to recap where the ratings stand that much. Based on what I've seen, of course, Julie Chen could mention that in other situations, I don't know. Then, uh, because Sprint is no longer a sponsor of the show, if they had done that, who would have won? Uh, Spencer would have won, hands down, come on. And it's only fitting that the guy who worked his butt off to stay alive in this game should have gotten something like that. Hmm. Okay, and then, um, if you haven't seen any of, uh, the interviews that, like, Spencer gave, or the ones that Tony gave, like, um, you should watch a Tony's interview with Pav, the lawn one, and then you should watch Spencer's After Buzz TV's thing. It's really informative. You'll learn quite a lot, such as the fact that, uh, it was actually, it seems to be Jeffra that actually planted the very first seeds to get cast to flip, although Trish added to it. Based, of course, on either Spencer or Tony's account, I can't remember which one of them said it now. <laughs> yeah. So you really should watch that stuff. Uh, moving on to my thoughts on next season, Blood vs. Water 2, or Sun Divided, whatever, I'm gonna go with Blood vs. Water 2. Okay, it's a lot easier. I'll probably learn it eventually, because like this season, I couldn't pronounce it before it started, but then I uh, learned to pronounce it pretty easily. So, um, I'm glad that they're bringing back the Bloodless Water twist, because, it, you know, it worked out pretty well, and it's a nice way to uh, shake the game up. The fact that they're doing it with uh, newbies, it doesn't really bother me that much, because actually... When I first saw that, I thought that it was going to be returnees versus loved ones again, so I go, Oh no, that means our C is going to come back! Oh no. Well, thank god, that's not happening. And it seems like Jeff's also trying to say that season 30 is going to be all newbies also. Huh, that's odd. I would, I would have figured that you would have made 30 a big goal bus season, you know, with new people again, or at least a fans versus favorite, you know? So, I guess they're planning on keeping the show going longer than season 30. Hmm. Well, since you had these two seasons, we would do good in the ratings. I can kind of see that, although I'm still, you know, iffy about how long the show could keep going. Yeah. 
But um, I really hope that they change the format up a little bit because, like, um, I don't want to see people throwing the idle clues into the uh, pit again. What I think they should do is have the winner of the duel get the clue and read it aloud because then both tribes will go scrambling looking for their idols. Yeah, come on. After seeing people scram for the idols in this season, I want to see that happen. And uh, hopefully they don't bring the title of Perry Idol back, because, like, if you're going to have Redemption Island, yes, Redemption Island is coming back. Just revealed that. If you're going to have um, regular Hidden Immunity Idols, Redemption Island and Tile of Perry, that's ridiculous. So that means it's going to be virtually impossible to get people off the show. So, eliminate it for this season. If you do it in a season without Redemption Island, um, okay, but, like, either Jeff or Tyler Perry said, uh, it really does depend on who gets it, but thank god they changed the rules slowly so we don't have another Yule. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, and another thing, don't have an eight-member jury, okay? Come on. So hopefully they change that up. And then, uh, Jeff's also mentioning that even though they're going back to Nicaragua, they're going to try and get more water challenges. Yeah, get more water challenges, okay? My earliest memories of Old School Survivor are people constantly struggling to do all these water challenges, so let's have them. I mean, like, I know a lot of people are going to argue that these seasons didn't seem to have the biggest amount of water challenges. Well... One, it's been a long time since we've seen water challenges, you know, and also, the budget for the show has been affected, you know? We're seeing little hints of it, even though I'm sure the show is going to keep at it. Hmm. Okay, so is there anything else I want to mention except for, uh, where the season ranks? Uh, hang on. Yeah, I think I've run out of discussion topics other than that. So ultimately, this was a great season. It's the season that uh, one word was for me, but it actually seemed to get everybody on board. So now, people should be happy. Even the producers, that newbies can still make a difference. If you actually get the right <laughs> group out there, you know. And yeah, there wasn't really any complete duds. You can argue quite a few people, but it has a little bit to do with the edit and also the fact that there were a lot of characters, you know? So, ultimately, you guys got a winner with this one and I'm real happy. And hopefully this will convince you to release the seasons after HVV on DVD because I know that they've got Borneo for token teens and HVV down so you just gotta get some more and then start raking out the seasons after that and since uh, most reality shows seem to be doing a uh, made on demand via Amazon right now it'll be a little easier although of course the uh, technology to make DVD has gotten a heck of a lot cheaper since uh, they previously were releasing seasons yeah so ultimately, where does this season rank? Uh, this is definitely uh, the best season since uh, the, the Philippines cycle. So once again, it's a four-season climb. So yeah, if next season really drops it again... Ugh, come on, don't do it again, please. Because I've had my faith in this show we saw twice, and just I don't want to lose it again. I mean, like, we all saw how I felt at the end of Caramon. Come on. And what is this season rank in the seasons after HVV? Um, it definitely makes the top two, without a doubt. Um, as of right now, I'm going to say it's actually the best season. It may change, though, because I really did like One World. But who knows, I'm a bit of a different person since One World aired, and... Yeah, we'll see. Although I'm very confident in this ranking thing, which is why I did it. And, well, that's that. I actually made it through an entire Survivor season without any technical difficulties or anything. I got a full-length vid up for every episode. Alright, guys. Well, this was fun. I'll definitely recap the next season, but I've got a lot more that I'm planning on doing during the off-season. So, enjoy whatever the heck you want to. <laughs> Bye.